I don't know what I was thinking when I got a small size. I have a pretty big head and I got a small size wig. So if you get a wig and it's too small for your head and you're feeling frustrated, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lovet. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, like welcome back, welcome back, like welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I was to rate this hair like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give call scores like a 12, 13, 15, 20, 100 <laughs> because their hair is really really good. I have reviewed their Melissa wig before and today I'm reviewing their new and it's not so new but as of the time I received this hair it was new but because I was in the hospital I couldn't do anything about it. This is their Laura unit. Guys this wig is gorgeous. I'm sure you guys have seen for yourself already. It has a 3B3C core pattern which I really love and I got this wig in 20 inches. I got a small size. I don't know what I was thinking when I got a small size. I have a pretty big head and I got a small size wig so if you get a wig and it's too small for your head and you're feeling frustrated I'm going to show you guys how to fix that today so as always i went ahead and you know tried to like define the calls using water and conditioner in my spray bottle the day i wanted to put on this week this week was small and i felt so frustrated like what did i just do at this point i was like okay let me try and see if i could you know kind of like customize the hairline a little bit i tried to see how i could fit the size to align with my size but the more i did that the forehead was sitting just above my eyebrows and my forehead doesn't sit that low so i had to do something to ensure that the sides sit perfectly and the middle area doesn't sit just above my brows so to fix that i went ahead and used a white eyeliner to mark out my hairline i was really scared at this point i was like god <laughs> let me not read my unit so i said a little prayer twist where i had the line and cut that part off <laughs> I felt really happy like at least I was able to salvage the situation of you know fixing a wig that was too small for my head so if you ever buy a wig and you make a mistake of buying like the wrong size this is how to fix it why I really like this unit or units from Calls Course in general is because it comes with customized edges so you don't need to like pluck your edges. The hair itself is curly from the roots to the very end you know unlike most units that you get from other companies that tend to have like straight roots and then curly ends. This one is curled from the beginning to the end. Frontal or the lace front part of the wig has been bleached so you don't have to go through the stress of trying to like bleach your unit and ruining it in the process and then you get a lot of pattern space so after doing that i went ahead and you know twist the middle part a little bit and then just styled my wig the way i did before using water and conditioner and guys i'm going to link all the products used in this tutorial in the description box so if you want to know like what products i use it's definitely going to be in the description box below So now it's another day and I just have basic cornrows going all back and I'm just going to go ahead with my got to be glue, spiking glue on my hairline, use my blow dryer and cool setting just to make sure that it gets tacky and once it gets tacky I just put on my wig. So once the glue gets clear and tacky, I usually put on my wig starting with the middle. Once I've laid down the middle, I usually go down to the sides and then lastly to my sideburn area. I try as much as possible to avoid using my hands. Best thing to use is like a comb or something flat just so it doesn't get messy. My sideburn area I went ahead and added my got to be glued free spray because I have makeup on I usually just spray like the free spray to a brush or a spatula or anything like that and apply the products on my hairline and 
this doesn't make my makeup too messy it doesn't give me too much work when it comes to fixing back my makeup so now i'm done with that i'm just going to go ahead and apply my cream of nature styling mousse i really really love this mousse not only does the mousse you know help in putting everything together it also helps in reducing like the white lines or the residue that you see when you use like any type of wig adhesive so now my hair is dry, I let it sit under my scarf for about 30 minutes and I'm just using my Black Radiance Contour Palette, the contour shade and I'm just applying that over my hairline just so that it can blend more. And then I went ahead to fix my makeup and after fixing my makeup I also went ahead to detangle my hair and to do that I just sprayed the mixture of water and conditioner and that was all. <laughs> So if you want to get this week for yourself, for your friend, your mother, your wife, your girlfriend, your sister, make sure you check the description box below because everything is going to be linked down there. And I also have a coupon code so you get to save $5 when you use my coupon code Love it at checkout. <laughs> I hope you learned a thing or two. Feel free to leave your comments down below. I feel so excited coming back on YouTube, guys. I've been away for a while. Like I said, I was in the hospital for about two months. And I feel so happy to be back. I feel really excited and I have lots of tutorials coming up. I'm not even going to spill the tea. I have something big coming up, something huge. Like I have a tutorial that I know you guys really, really want to see. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys very soon.